It is Outdoors with Lori. This is probably one of my favorite days. Uh, it is had been raining, so it's a little cooler. I think it's around 50-ish, 55, somewhere around there degrees, so it's cool. But it's still kind of drizzly rain, and you're just not going to see anybody. When I look back here, I came back. Like, I'm the only car back there. I didn't pass anybody out here. Um, but this is the Bluestone Turnpike Trail. I believe I have hiked this trail a few years ago with a couple of my friends, but just a small portion of it. The sign says it's nine miles one way. Can I do 18 miles today? I don't know. Um... But it runs from Bluestone State Park, that's where I'm starting here, down to Pipestem State Park at the bottom of, of the mountain where the tram would take you. The trams are closed until May. I read that on um, the website the other day because um, I ran into a couple young guys from New Jersey who was here yesterday. Something's in there. Hello. You stay there, I'll stay here. Something was in there. Because I heard it. Anyhow, um, so uh, I ran into these young guys over at Brooks Falls when I was at um, the Big Branch Trail and was telling them about pipe stem and they were like, yeah, we want to do the tram. And I was like, I don't think it's open yet. And so I looked it up and sure enough it wasn't. Um, as weather gets prettier, I, um, I, uh, come down here and I kayak upstream. So I, 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 I technically start in Bluestone Lake, but I paddle upstream with, up into the river. And the, so I'm excited to get back, but I wanted to show you, let me flip it around. I've got, cob, I've got spider web in my face. Look how high, like, this is super high. And I, I ran down yesterday to where I usually put in my uh, kayak, and it's a fishing spot for a lot of people. And I was like, man, it is high. And the gentleman there, as a local, said he had never seen it this high in his entire life, and he looked like he was in his 30s. So I don't know if we just got lots of rain the past few weeks. I mean, we are in West Virginia. It rains a lot. But um, I'm excited to see if I can make it down to Pipe Stem because uh, that is uh, the bottom area where the tram is. The river is just so pretty, man. It's just, and it's, it's the Bluestone River down through there. Uh, and just to see what I can find today would be pretty cool. Uh, I, like I said, I get excited about these days because um, it. They're just comfortable hiking days. They're cool enough that you can you can layer up, and then you can always take off layers as you warm up. I tend to stay cold. My shoes are wet from yesterday, so I already started off with wet feet. Uh, I've got good socks, though. Hopefully, it'll keep me warm. Um, I'm excited to see what I find, and I'm curious. I'll know here because there were some ruins um, that. I recall a trail leading me into, I'll know, I'll know here shortly if this was a trail that I've been on before or if this is absolutely brand new to me. I'm very excited. Hope you are too. I'm already going to tell you that we're probably going to see a lot of this kind of thing. Just mountain streams that are overflowing. When I came down Hinton Mountain, there was some pretty, uh, pretty scary debris that had filled up the ditch line and gone across the road and people were going slow. So I'd say it's going to be a day where we cross some little <laughs> creekies. If you're out hiking with me anyhow, if you're afraid of getting your feet muddy or wet, you're probably not going to be able to go on many trails that like I like to go on. But when I was out here, oh, there's some geese. <laughs> um, when I was out here last summer, 
I thought I was seeing a baby bear cub, and I go it was it was a, a beaver. That thing was huge, and it just plopped into the water, and I never could find it after that. I don't know how he got away from where I could see him, but it was along through here. But like I said, um, this is you can tell how flooded it is, and and I say this. My day, my shoes, their their life is limited of staying together. I noticed the other shoe was almost completely. Ooh, I might not be able to walk. Look, let's see if I can make it. I might not be able to make it today because of flooding. Uh, okay. Um, I mean, I'm in water right now, but just you know, squishy water. Can I make it? Can I make it? Or am I going to be in the water too deep? Woo! I'm going to go for it. Oh, it's so cold. Splosh, splosh, splosh. I'm going to just try to stay along this line because this is probably the trail and it shouldn't dip down. Hello, little animals and stuff. I'm making lots of noise so you have time to move. Ah, oh, gosh. Okay, we'll try to stay along this high step and make sure I don't fall in some big hole. It is, goodness, it's like, it's so freaking cold. Okay, I'm getting up to my knees right now. Oh, this makes me nervous because I don't, <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to just step and go kabloop up to my neck. Okay, um, oh, what am I going to do if I get stuck? Oh, man, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it. Look at that next one, you see? Okay, ah, oh, heck. I need me a walking stick. Oh, oh, it's cold. I'm going to try to stay right straight. Oh, it's over my knees. Oh, my gosh, it's so friggin' cold. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Mid thigh. Oh, please don't get any deeper. Can you handle it? <laughs> I'm choking up. Okay, I think I, I, I'm afraid to speak too soon. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling myself walking up. Okay, I made it. Uh, made it about halfway, like mid thigh. It's friggin' cold. Okay, I made it through the first hole. Okay, I'm not going to bore you with my craziness, but um, I'm going to see if I can do this. Like, it is flooded. My car is parked away. I'm afraid to do this. I don't even know where it goes. I don't even know. Hum. Is that all going to be flooded out? Should I go in the woods? See, I don't even know where to go through here. Like, okay, I've lost track of the trail. Are you seeing this? Hello. I think I'm going to walk up, just right, right up through here, up on the tree line there, and then try to dip back down when I see the trail again. Because I'm, I'm a little afraid to go through this hole. Like... I have no, I, no gauge on where that trail is and how deep this is. I may have to grab me a walking stick. Okay, this is going to be an adventure today, guys. Hope I can make it. Okay. So, I did not walk through that. I walked up through here. And came around, came around, came around, and then came down through here, and I saw the trail again. Woohoo! And it looks like it's up. So I think I'm past the flooding. I just have to remember when I get to this spot again that either I can try to, to wait it or just walk right up through there again and, and then drop back down. Yeah, that was something else. So, um, yeah, this is crazy. And like the river is right there and it's slick, 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 slick. Muddy, muddy, muddy. Uh, <laughs> Oh, this is crazy. So I'm hoping that 
the trail stays up above the river, you know, a good distance like here. I mean, you know, it's a, that's a pretty good distance. And I don't mind treading through or wading through knee-deep stuff, even up in, onto my thigh. But I don't want to get any deeper than that and not know, like, lose track of where I should be walking. So I've got, you can see on my pants, it got to there. Uh... <laughs> I have to laugh at myself. All right, so let's do this. I walked about an hour and I recognized this particular spot as the first rapid that you would encounter on the bluestone if you're coming upstream so it would be the last rapid of the bluestone river here and it's also where this path looks more like a atv path because what i've been hiking on is more like this or even more narrow as far as the growth so this is this would be your mark when you see kind of this atv looking path instead of a single path and the river, you can see that island in the center and actually water, you see the water moving this way downstream with a current to it. So you are, at, this is usually when I go kayaking where I, as far as I can paddle upstream. Um, I haven't figured out a way to, to get up past that rapid so I can paddle up a little bit more. The current's always too strong for me anyhow. But anyhow, this will be like an hour in that you've been walking, or if you're coming back, you'll know I have about an hour left of walking. So we are officially following the Bluestone River and not the Bluestone Lake. Oh, here's a here's a good. This is this is only one little finger of that island. You can see the island there. There's another on the other side of the other part of the river. Let me walk you up there to it. It's going pretty fast today. It's high. Because usually all you see up through here are rocks, honestly. So it's it's a good level. Some of the path is given way. So you see up there where it divides. Ah, and now it's gone back to a little singular trail again, but Let's see what we can find up here. I want to just show you that little rapid in the island. Okay. I don't know if we'll be able to see it very well. It's just growing up too much. You can see there. I'm almost to a point where I think, yeah, about right here. It's about as good as it gets. So it'll, it, that island starts about right there. So you can see it here and then here. Both sides have a rapid. Actually, the other side has a big, a much bigger rapid than this side does. Uh, but it's high. All right, we're an hour in. Let's see where it takes us. And I'm not far from where I, the Bluestone ends, the Bluestone River ends that I walked past. But this showed um, a grave site, but it has some type of structure. Of course I'm not gonna hike up through that but there so I don't know if that is the grave I did not see a grave as I came down like where you could see it right along the trail but Robert E Wiley private USA he died in 43 that's cool isn't it pass this and it I guess it's some kind of fungus or whatever I'm not sure you can even see up there but like that it almost looks like wax some of you outdoors biology people might know what it is but it, it's it's cool it's orange see it over there that's pretty cool
it's cooled down quite a bit now that I'm so close to the water. So me being wet doesn't help, but I do have a nice coat on and a toboggan. So, okay. So this is the trail. But I guess I continue to go that way. Because this is a road, I guess, just to have access to the river. So, let's see where it takes us. Porta potty up there. Ooh, I'm gonna go down here, hold on. Because I saw something you might wanna see. Because I wanna see it. I wanna see it. Let's see here, where's the best view? Mm, it's high, I mean, you can tell. You can tell that pretty high. So, and this crazy mud is like ice. You step on that stuff and you're just wonky. Okay, yeah, you can tell that it's really high through here. I wanted to show you this pretty cool rapid. Yeah. And you can see it over there. I think you can see that too. I'm going to zoom in just a tad. There. But that's extra flow on this side. The main rapid is on this side. You can kind of see right there. Looks like a little hole. Cool man. Pretty shot of that. Oh, about well, misstep there. That's pretty. All right. They are everywhere this time of year. <laughs> He's so cute. You gonna come up here? No. Come on. Yeah, oh, he's like, uh oh, I'm off the ground. Huh? Ah, he tickles, they tickle so much. But look at him. Hello, hello. Oh, okay, I'm gonna lay him down before he crashes. There he goes. So he's down. I'm not gonna move him because there's really nobody around. Usually I would move him off to the side to avoid someone stepping on him. Fair warning that so much of this is this kind of trail <laughs> and it's like you sink up in the mud just be fair warned you know forewarned that this might be what you find especially if it's been raining but looks like we're getting back to the river again the trail for the most part's not been bad but it is wet Well, I've walked for a little over three hours and I've tried to uh, pull up my Google Maps to figure out how far I am from the pipe stem uh, tram. 
and I'm just too far down in the mountain to do that. So, as much as I don't want to, and I'm kind of tired, um, I'll probably, I'm, I'll make my hike back. It will probably take a little longer because it's going to be more uphill and walking uphill in very muddy ground instead of slot, kind of sliding down mud. But as you can see, uh, the blue stone is to my right now as I'm going back. Um, if I had planned it out a little better, maybe, I don't even know if I could, I have no idea how long it would take me. Um, but the trail's not been bad other than uh, going through some muddy patches that, you know, you just kind of slip and slide through. And then there are a few like here that have, that are rock bed, river bed, uh, that you just have to be careful as you walk over. But for the most part, it's been pretty simple walking. Um, if I, if I see anything, uh, worth filming or taking a photo of, of course I will. I hope to be back by, to my car by eight o'clock. That'll be pushing dark and I've, you know, I've kind of had a, a quicker pace on this one because I've, I really wanted to get to the other end. I, it's going to kill me if I find out I'm super close. <laughs> But anyhow, it's been a nice day. It's been nice and cool. It's rained on and off. It's sprinkling now. Uh, I'll grab me something to drink. And maybe even jog some of this. I don't know. Mm. Okay. Let's head back. <sighs> so six hours, six and a half hours later. I decided when I came up on that big water hole to go back and, and, and climb and, and go through like the, the grass and apparently I didn't see where I could drop down and go in because I was going to walk through that, that first one I went through the, that was about thigh high I was going to go ahead and walk through that I fell slid in mud and fell twice and, and uh, what do they call it I got my my uh, bell rung, hit my head, ba boom. Luckily, just on muddy ground. Woo! But I am, look at me. I fell. Oh, sorry. Oh, I fell. You can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna flip to let me do it. I fell. Look at that! Look, I got mud on me. I'm muddy, muddy, muddy. Muddy, 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 muddy. Uh, and I'm hungry. And I'm cold. But wasn't it wonderful? And my battery's about ready to go. Catch me next time. <laughs> Outdoors with Lori. God only knows what I'll be up to. See ya.